<clears throat> Welcome to Sag season. So, a little, not exactly the way we wanted to start the season for most of us. Um, Mercury in retro, Mars in Pisces, decisions, the mind is very clouded right now. So it doesn't know exactly which direction to go in. Yes, it wants change, wants beginnings, um, but we're not super sure um, at the moment. So, you know, just uh, wait it out. Um, it'll be out of retrograde come the 6th and 7th fully stationed and going the right way again. So um, it's also right in line with the new moon in Sag. So that should be a really, really good time for us. Ooh, maybe you guys are already putting some plans into motion. Nice to see. So, ooh, okay. Uh, but you guys are a little messy. <laughs> uh, from the cards. Okay. So you're putting in some plans. Please, please, please do not make investments that you are not sure of. Now is really not the time to... Um, be spending a lot, um, buying new things, new cars, new phones, any kind of electronics. Um, be very careful signing things because Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it may look good, but there's something that you're missing about it. There's some detail. There's something that um, maybe the date's not right. You need to do some checks and balances on this. So um, very, very important for you guys to be super careful about any kind of investments right now. So if the job opportunity slipped away, or if you're just spending a hell of a lot, you know, we just got through with Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the holidays take a lot out of you. Um, you know, it's pretty natural to see. Um, just just be careful. Make sure it's something that's, that's feasible. You know, you don't want to overdo it. Try opting for something a little more homemade or heartfelt as opposed to something, you know, that you have to buy at the store, you know, do something a little more sentimental. You know, those are usually less expensive, but more gratifying. People usually appreciate that stuff more. So, um, eight of wands, you know, things are looking good. Yes, you don't have the financial security that you want, but, um, we're going to get there. You know, so just make sure um, you're putting the energy into where you want it. You're really focusing on the change that you want. You're trying to um, fight through the, the shrouds. So Knight of Cups reversed. Um, you know, if there's some flattery coming your way, um, I don't know if you guys are necessarily going to see it if someone tries to flirt with you and then your friend's going to be like, oh... Well, couldn't you tell they were into you? And you're like, oh, no, really? And, you know, it didn't even phase you. So, because it's just not on your mind right now. It may be coming, but, you know, Venus is back in your sign. Um, so you guys have a lot of love energy currently. But it could just mean that we're getting back to our regular selves, you know, when it's in our natal sign. So any kind of proposals, any kind of offers, um, be be careful because this tied together back to back um, could mean, you know, maybe there's a suitor or someone that's offering you a change, but there's, there's some kind of, um, it's actually to your detriment. It may not be obvious and, and they may not be sneaky about it. They may not even, you know, be doing intentional wrong, but um, there's there's some indication here that it's actually going to uh, hurt you financially. So, um, you know, don't get uh, swooned in by someone that's good looking and not like, you know, really do your your checks and balances there. So, If you feel that love is slipping away from you, let's look a little further here. So it shouldn't be. 
Sagittarius for you guys um, is all about expansion because you are in the 11th house, um, which is the house of Aquarius. Big change, big change. Even though it's a fixed sign, it does have the capability of change because it's air um, and because it's very visionary. So I would say um, Taurus is the least likely to change of the four fixed signs because it's Earth, very stable, very slow to move, very stubborn. Um, Scorpio, only when it's necessary. They, they move when their life depends on it, you know. Um, and then Leo can be very stubborn, um, but it doesn't change as much because it's in the spotlight. So it has to be very considerate of, of kind of everything um, it does, whether it's truly in the spotlight or if that's just the mentality that they have, which most of us Leos do. We think that more people see it than what the actual <laughs> surroundings are, or so I've been told. Um, and then Aquarius is really cool because you guys don't really have limits. You know, there aren't really restrictions around you. You usually aren't in leadership, things like that. You find a niche for yourself. Um, and, you know, you can just kind of do your own thing. And, you know, they, they love investigating. They love solving puzzles, mysteries. They are themselves a mystery um, to us because they're so different. But I'm getting off track here. So you guys are going to be channeling some of that this season. Um, it'll be nice energy. It'll be comforting. Um, you know, it's in an air house and you guys are air. So, um, it'll feel familiar at least may not feel fully yourself, but, um, it'll be good. I mean, you guys are emotionally, uh, you really take your time. If you ever do change Capricorn in the fourth house of emotion, uh, memories. Um, so you hold on to stuff um, emotionally. You may change your surroundings, who you're with, things like that, your trends, your style. Um, but the internal stuff, does it change for you, Libra? Uh, may take a lot longer than you think it does. Um, two of Pentacles reversed. So, okay. Um, so what's going on here? What are you investing in? Um, you know, this could mean that you're trying to build something here. You're building a future. You're building a new foundation. And you do not have the funds to do it. Um, especially if this is involved in a partner. Or maybe your partner is the one that is being very, very frivolous. Um, you know, not frugal at all. And it's super important for you guys to be careful right now because um, that's a lot that's going away from you. <laughs> now, on the other hand, what's this? So we get Ace of Cups face up. We get Ace of Pentacles reverse. So your value may be depreciating, but the love may be increasing. Um, it's, it's really hard to say. There's some kind of a new opportunity here whether it's love, a wish granted, um, a change. I mean, if you guys are, are thinking of um, trying to make a baby, things like that, that looks good. Um, but can you afford it? Um, you know, you're really tossing all that if you guys are really, really trying to decide if you have the financial stability to have a, a real family or a bigger family than you already do. Um if you are not in a relationship, which is very strange for a Libra, um, but if you are not, um, there is some sort of blessing that you have about not being in the spotlight right now. Um, you know, like you, you kind of like this Aquarian energy or just like, oh, I can just kind of breeze on through this season, like, and not get, you know, the, the usual notice and stuff that I have. I kind of like this, you know, um, the world uh upside down so that's mixed signals with ace of cups so some somewhere in here you have the mindset that you're blessed or that that something is happening um but you it you don't feel like 
It can happen in any direction. Maybe it's a very specific thing that you're wanting to happen. Um, because if you want to go in every direction, that doesn't seem to be the case. This seems to be... Um, I think it's more family-oriented. If you've decided to stay and wait and maybe you've maybe you've reconfigured what it is you want as of late maybe you guys have jumped the gun other people are still trying to assess what they want come 2019 and maybe you guys have already um, figured it out and it's a little backwards it's actually a little um, more about keeping what's already present continuing like a cycle as opposed to venturing out in any direction because we got the world here reversed and the fact that you guys got the ace of cups with it is that you're seeing that there's an opportunity where you're at and so you're not really looking to go places maybe you're looking more so to better your surroundings currently your present situation um, go a little deeper with it somehow so whatever makes sense for you whether you're in a relationship or not um, But starting out, it's going to be really rough on your finances. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Sorry. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. This is all coming out way too fast. Okay. So where do I want to start? This guy? Yes. So you guys really don't want to travel. I don't know if someone is... Um, telling you that you need to go or you know if you guys are being stubborn about like a true change in Sag season which this is a real opportunity to to change everything um, with this energy that's going on right now and you, you guys just just aren't about it and that's okay I mean to each his own but it doesn't look like it's super beneficial to stay where you are so and this is even further proof of that you get the tower card and um, you you don't even know what the tower is you know the tower to you is the weight of a decision um, that you're being forced to make that you don't want to make because you're in fear that it's going to destroy everything um, maybe that's why you're prolonging this, you know, this, this money habits if the loved one is just wheeling and dealing and, and not bringing anything in, not bringing anything to the table. Um, you guys are the, are the divas. You don't want to be the one that has to provide. You'd rather be the, the housewife or the, you know, the one that can go out and have fun while the responsible one stays home or works and, and all that. Um, so here, Page of Swords reversed. Um, as opposed to ideas, as opposed to um, going in new directions, you guys are um, kind of challenging you're really, really challenging those directions, whether they're ideas coming from other people or they're ideas from yourself. You're like trying to shut them down, it seems like, as they come to you. So there's this sense of like intuition where I think there's a part of you that actually does genuinely want to just start over like completely. But then there's this, um, there's this need to just keep on going the way it is you know if there's an Aries in your life that's holding you back um, that's really kind of commanding you or, or pushing you to act and you're just not very clear-headed at the moment you just don't have the vision you need um, to make a clear decision And then, yeah, I mean, here we go again. So 
Um, you know, I, I think there is some stubbornness to this rating. There is um, Knight of Pentacles. So yes, obviously we're going to end up looking for money because we don't handle the beginning of the season well. So it kind of forces us into that situation. We make bad choices. Um, and then King of Swords. Maybe there's someone that has some really good advice for you guys. Maybe there's someone wise, a male air sign perhaps. Um, you know, maybe the, the dad has some really harsh words for you guys. Um, some very practical advice. Um, I mean, it could just be you. You you um, reestablish your power, um, your strength, when you start, again, looking for your value because you feel very diminished at the beginning of the season, even though you know you're supposed to be making things happen. Um, and then this opportunity comes along, and I don't. I still don't know if you give it the light of day. You know, I don't. I don't know if you give it your your attention, even though it's happening, and it's just you can't ignore it. Um, you guys are going to try to, um, but I think it'll at least ignite something in you guys, um, and there'll be a search for. A new value and what is that to you is that a new job um, is that just a way to make money is that a new way to invest um, you know what what is that that's going to make you feel um, more value <laughs> so for lack of a better word so because you guys don't right now I mean the Empress you say you do um, you still look like you do you know to everybody um, Libras take so damn long to get ready. They won't leave the house until they are. Um, but internally, you don't have everything you want, and that's going to eat at you. Um, you're not able to rest. Um, there's a lot of anxieties and neuroses right now around the holidays for you guys because this, this growth um, is going to require a new venture, a new outlet something very different from before and it's going to require like your your undivided attention you know um, it could be something that other people recognize in you so if this is um, someone else being like hey have you ever tried this like I've always thought you'd be good you know at this or whatever um, and you guys just aren't you're not seeing it for what it is and that it is a great way to branch out of this um, almost like willful conformity to your present situation you know this like stubbornness um, yeah so I you guys have three of the four aces I mean what more could you want I mean the only one that's turned right is the ace of cups so uh, very very interesting um, but you guys have shifted what it is you want, and I don't think you want something just for yourself anymore. I think you are um, doing something more to kind of almost like save your situation. But um, I don't know if it's beneficial to try to save what's already present. Let's see here. Oh. Yikes. Okay. So yes, the Aries energy, the aggression, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, here we go. Devil card. Not surprised by that. Okay. So, who keeps you from achieving everything you want? You know, it could just be the idea of responsibility keeps you from this, keeps you from being a kid, keeps you from being positive. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to have to do these things. You don't want to have a to-do list. You don't want to 
have to run errands, um, you don't want to have to adult, you don't want to work, things like that. Um, or this could be the relationship. I've seen this for a few signs. Um, everyone's taking their time with the Venus in retro and, and people had like a really slow coming to it and now they're they're starting to have the ability to face the you know what's going on really in their relationships so um, if you have this feeling that um, that could be what's holding you back it's showing clearly here you know the devil represents something that is restraining you as opposed to freeing you. And you guys going into Aquarius, which is almost like the sign of freedom in a way in Sagittarius season two, oh my gosh, um, you know, it just doesn't abide by the rules. And this is a very rule oriented person. This is someone that um, holds you to standards and rules and things like that. This is a person like, where are you at 10 o'clock kind of a thing. So if that's who your spouse is, you have this feeling that um, you feel like you could be doing more outside of that relationship. Um, if there's a Capricorn that you just view that just has everything going for them, um, but there's something about them that is almost too responsible. You know, you just don't feel like you can be a kid around them. They're too serious. And you're having to make a decision about, am, am I going to grow up? But um, I think there's a way in which you can you can be responsible and not have to, you know leave that energy behind. I think you can keep it. Um, but if somebody around you is trying to suppress that in you, um, really, really investigate what their worth is and what they bring to the table. Because if this is a person that is at the beginning of the reading making you feel so diminished, um, you know, take, take, taking materially, mentally, physically, everything, making you um, feel like you don't have it all, um, and then there's almost like this gift, like they, they give you something to say you're sorry, um, but you know it's not enough, the gesture, whatever it is, whatever kind of a gift, um, and you either don't acknowledge it, um, it's just not enough to save this situation, um, whatever it is, because there's this inkling that you just can't go anywhere, that you're trapped. And I think that's where the tower comes in, and it's like, no, there's always a choice. Um, and sometimes, um, you know, that tower has to be present because you just, you feel like you can't budge. And that's where the emperor comes in. I mean, he can make anything happen. Um, Aries, action-oriented, very instinctual. And I think once we hit that point, things become a little better. But um, there's this... There's this, like, good card mixed with bad thing. So there's this, like push and pull is yin and yang to you guys. And that may always be with you guys because you guys represent duality in a way. Um, but you're going back and forth and reassessing and pros and cons list. You know, you're just weighing it out because you guys take so long to make a decision. Um, and if it weren't for Mercury and Retro, I would say just leap and go for it. But let, you know, Take, you know, take your time in making this decision. Um, if the tower just hits and, and then it's unavoidable, I mean, you just have to pick up, you have to go somewhere once that happens. I mean, that can be a finality. Um, and it could almost be a finality that you are never really able to leave that situation after this. Because it's like the travel cards, the possibilities, um 
seem to be gone once the tower hits. So it's like there's something here, a very, very big decision that's going to tie you down to your present surroundings and it's going to make you have to stay in it a um, long time. So... And then if you are um, thinking about a new hobby or a new venture, um, be very careful again with investments here. Be very careful. Um, watch the money. So I had this advice for Virgo too because you, the two, Virgo and Libra above the two signs are the most um, active in the field of like charities and things. You guys are always volunteering. You're standing up for a cause, um, you know, and my suggestion to them would be don't put your funds into charities this year. I know you guys need to do something about it though because you just have that altruistic heart. So I would suggest be there in person, um, opt to do something more laborious, but not financially demanding as opposed to just, you know, giving money left and right to different organizations. I would I would suggest to actually be there and volunteer in person as opposed to just giving funds. Um, because the the money situation is 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 not looking so great here. Um, yeah, but we can get back to where we need to be, but you guys have some really heavy decisions to make, or maybe it's just one and it's gonna have a domino effect. Um, and I challenge you to go against what you've always done. I challenge you guys to go in a new direction, a completely new direction, because there is a lot of possibility if you do. Um, I don't know if, how patient you guys are, and it's really going to test your patience right now. It's testing mine. Um, but I just worry that if you prolong this situation, it's going to be something that's harder to get out of later on. And if it was a, if if it was looking good, I would say you know great things coming. Just do your thing. And you're going to have an amazing season, but that's not what I see. I see that like change is necessary, and I just don't know if you guys are going to take that opportunity here. Um, yeah. So just wait, give yourself, you know, at least another week um, before you have that final decision. Remember, on the 7th is the new moon, Mercury's out of retro, yes, Mars is still in Pisces, but we will have, like, forward momentum once more. So it'll be still pretty hazy, but um, you guys can navigate it better, come then, we all can. And, yeah, I'm, I really am excited to see where you guys are at in Capricorn, um, That'll be a good time. But just do it. Do it. Do the thing that scares you, but you know you need to do. Um, do the very different thing, the unordinary thing. You can make it happen with some Aquarius energy. Go against... Um,